the school that I'm here for your inspection. <sighs> Mr. Brown! Oh, hi guys, welcome back to Goes of the Virtual Zoo that allows you to learn about any animal, any time, and anywhere in the world. So, today's inspection day in the zoo. But, as you can see, Mr. Brown has been slacking on his job. And that means I have to give him a very good scolding. <laughs> I will enjoy that. But first, before I find him and give him the scolding, let's learn about the turtles. The green sea turtles are one of the largest turtles known to man. They are called green sea turtles because of the greenish color of their cartilage and fat, and really not because of their shells. They have a tear-shaped shield, which is known as a carpass. The carpass makes up most of their bodies. They have their head and flippers that stick out of their carpass. Their carpass varies in colors from yellow to dark brown and green to black, and their skin is leathery in texture. They can be found all over the world in waters like the Pacific, Atlantic, and Mediterranean oceans. The male sea turtles spend all their lives inside the sea, using their flippers to glide along the waters, while the females would usually go to land when they want to lay eggs. The female lays eggs in clutches or sets, and each set can contain about 65 to 100 baby turtles. When she wants to lay the eggs, she goes to the land and finds a safe place. Then she digs a hole and lays the eggs. After laying the eggs, she covers them with sand so no one will be able to know that they are there. Then she goes back to the sea. The eggs hatch after 60 days and immediately they start making their way to the sea. After entering the sea, the hatchlings or baby turtles just float about and feed on plankton. Then once they are old enough to have their own children, they swim back to the place where they were born to mate reproduce and live out their adult lives. Green sea turtles are herbivores, meaning they eat mostly grass and plants like algae and sea grasses. They are actually the only ones in their sea turtle families that are herbivores. Green sea turtles are often called the lawnmowers of the ocean. I wish I could get one of them to come and help me eat all the grass in the zoo. <laughs> Anywho, we have come to the end of our lesson for today. And I need to go find Mr. Brown, so let's go over what we've learned. The green sea turtles are one of the largest turtles known to man. And the green sea turtles are herbivores, meaning they eat mostly grass and plants like algae and sea grasses. So guys, until our next go of the adventure, wish Mr. Brown some luck when I find him. Bye!